Hey, I'm Stacey Static and welcome to The Daily Mix. So I gotta tell you, Monday came fast and furious for me, but um, yesterday, huh, I just have to say that I wanna send all condolences to the family of rapper Nipsey Hussle who was gunned down yesterday in LA, and I wanna dedicate this show to his memory. And on a lighter note, let's continue. You know we love to bring you unique job opportunities, and if a Marvel movie marathon sounds like a dream gig to you, then listen up. CableTV.com is going to pay one lucky Marvel fanatic $1,000 to binge watch all 20 of the current Marvel movies in three days ahead of the April 26th release of Avengers Endgame. In addition to $1,000, The Chosen One will also get all of the Marvel films on Blu-ray and a Marvel Marathon Survival Kit. That includes a Captain America popcorn popper and kernels to go along with it, a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet mug, and an Iron Man Snuggie, also a $100 Grubhub gift card. In addition to superhero binging skills, the ideal candidate must also be an active and outgoing social media personality who will be eager to live tweet about their Marvel Marathon. If this sounds like the job for you, you have until April 15th to apply. And you can do that at cabletv.com slash blog. Of course, if you have one more time on your hands, then NASA and the European Space Agency have an even more lucrative opportunity for you. They're looking for participants to stay in bed for a full 60 days. Mm. This is to help scientists learn more about what happens to astronauts and their muscles when they spend a long time in space. Volunteers will be paid nearly $19,000 for their time. The study is taking place in Germany, so if you speak good German and you're up for doing absolutely nothing for a full two months, this may be the job for you. If you're planning on listing your house this spring, I wish I could, my guest Jeff Lottman will have some great tips for you, as well as what's trending in the market today. He'll be joining me later in the show, so you'll definitely want to stick around for that. Okay, you know what time it is. Let's get into today's Daily Mix. After a long winter, spring is finally here, and what better way to celebrate this season than to explore the great outdoors. The Missouri Botanical Garden and Academy of Science St. Louis are hosting an event that encourages getting active outside called Meet Me Outdoors in St. Louis. This family-friendly event has tons of activities to enjoy, such as guided hikes and tours, music, food, giveaways, canopy climb, native plant sale, and yoga buzz. We'll even be hosting a yoga session. Come experience Mother Nature's beauty in a fun way. Meet Me Outdoors in St. Louis event takes place this Saturday and Sunday, April 6th and 7th, at the Missouri Botanical Garden, starting at 10 a.m. For more information and for tickets, visit MissouriBotanicalGarden.org. So you have, so who would have thought that an innocent tweet about bread sliced bagels would turn into a national debate? If you've not heard yet of the bagel gate, then I'll need to fill you in. <laughs> Mr. Krautman, a former St. Louisan, tweeted this picture of the now infamous bread sliced bagel, saying that he had introduced his Washington DC co-workers to the St. Louis secret of ordering bagels, and it was a hit. Well, not everyone agreed. A flood of tweets have since followed, with many taking cracks at St. Louis style foods. But of course, St. Louis has taken it in stride, as well as Panera itself. They're showing their home city some love with these sliced bagel billboards, and they paired up with Arch Apparel to create this t-shirt for all of those who are St. Louis proud and want to show off their St. Louis style. Mayor Lyda Krusen even weighed in on Bagelgate at her recent press conference. So how does she like her bagels? Does she like them sliced? Let's find out. I like mine sliced. Uh, that means that I get more cream cheese per bite. And um, I like to tell myself that I'm not eating as much bagel 
even though I end up eating the whole thing. So uh, that's the biggest story of the day. <laughs> that may have been the biggest story of the day, but there were several other important things Mayor Crewson addressed during the press conference, including the city's new dollar health program where hundreds of homes are for sale for just $1. Here's what she had to say about the pilot program. We have close to 500 houses on, a, on the list on the website that can be bought for a dollar. And yesterday at the LRA meeting, uh, we approved the sale of the first six dollar homes. Um, so that is exciting. It's just getting started. Uh, there are another 490 dollar homes out there on the, on the website for anyone who's interested in that. There is some criteria here. The homes are 1,500 squ uh, square feet or smaller. They, um, you have 18 months to get them fixed up and reoccupied. You have to live in the house yourself. If you get to buy the house for a dollar, you have to live there. This is not a program for speculators uh, or for someone who wants to fix it up and rent it out. This is for home ownership. Uh, and you have to live in the house for three years after you finish fixing it up. So 18 months to fix it up, we're talking about four and a half, five years here that we expect you to be committed and living in that house uh, for, those, for those three years after you finish fixing it up. But we're just excited that, you know, six, six of those homes were approved yesterday, uh, along with eight Moda own lots and uh, many other things were on that LRA agenda. But I, I think that's worth pointing out that we've launched this program and it, it's, it's had a, uh, the beginnings of a successful, successful program. You can learn more about the Dollar Health program on the city's website, stlouis-mo.gov. They say laughing is good for the soul. Well, get ready to laugh until you cry because the Cracking Up Comedy Tour is coming to the loo this weekend. The hilarious D. Ray Davis is bringing seasoned and new comedians to hit the stand-up stage. Stand-up performances include the Nigerian comedic sensation Michael Blackson, the comedy legend Bruce Bruce, Instagram comedian B. Simone, and comedian and actor Red Grant. This lineup will leave you in stitches. The Cracking Up Comedy Tour happens this Friday, April 5th at 8 p.m. at the Shape It's Arena. Tickets are selling fast. You can purchase yours at theshapeitsarena.com. And this Thursday and Friday is a great time to check out several businesses all in one place. Every month, licensed collector Mavis Thompson's office hosts the City Business Open House. This month, you'll find everything from special treats and health and wellness to clothing and specialty soap. Gen X Health Screening, Sweets by Alicia, West Park Soap, Pearly Pickles, Rose Clothing Boutique, Scripture Craftsman, Sam's Club, and Right Price are all expected to be at the open house, which takes place this Thursday, Friday, April 4th and 5th. This Thursday and Friday, April 4th and 5th, from 11 to 2 p.m. at the City Hall Rotunda. For more information, visit the License Collectors page at St. Louis Mo. Gov. And one of our area's largest recycling events will take place this weekend. The Recycling Extravaganza is a one-stop shop for recycling all kinds of hard to recycle items, including electronics, clothing, yoga mats, Mardi Gras beads, medications, bicycle parts, and so much more. It's really too much to list here. And they'll keep, they'll, they'll be keeping things fun with music, games, and prizes from Y98 and now 96.3. The four hour event will take place this Sunday, April 7th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. in the parking lot of St. Louis Community College of Forest Park. You can find a full list of all the items they'll be accepting at earthday-365.org. Wizard World also returns to St. Louis this weekend. The fan favorite event celebrates the best in pop culture from movies and television to comics and toys, collectibles, and so much more. There will be celebrity Q&As with stars like Aquaman's Jason Momoa, American Pie's Thomas Ian Nicholas, and Charmed's Holly Marie Combs, just to name a few. There will also be live entertainment, cosplay contests, movie screenings, and more. Fans of all ages are invited to come out, and kids 10 and under are absolutely free with a paid adult. Wizard World St. Louis runs from this Friday, April 5th through Sunday, April 7th. You can learn more about all they'll have to offer 
as widow at wizardworld.com. That's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? Wisconsin's Madison Magazine recently named St. Louis one of six ideal destinations only a tank of fuel away. They noted the many museums, outdoor attractions, and restaurants our fine city has to offer, including City Museum, Forest Park, The Hill, Ted Drews, and the Del Mar Loop. And speaking of the Loop, you can get looped this Friday and kick off April right with a self-guided tour and special shopping specials, dining events, and exciting entertainment. More than 30 businesses will be staying open late for another great first Friday in the Del Mar Loop. This is a great time to hit up some of your favorite Loop favorites and maybe discover a new place or two along the way. Check out visittheloop.com for all of the details. Are you ready, Cardinals fans? Well, it's time to get ready because this season's home opener is this week. That's right, opening day 2019 is just a few days away. Cardinals Nation and Y98 radio station are hosting pep rally events at the same time. Whether you're in Keener Plaza or at Ballpark Village, you can feel the Cardinals pride. Come cheer on the cards with your favorite food vendors, games, giveaways, refreshments, live music, and thousands upon thousands of fans. You can watch the game live on the big screens at Ballpark Village, and you don't want to miss the excitement. It's definitely the place to be in the city. It all takes place this Thursday, April 4th, at Keener Plaza and Ballpark Village downtown. To learn more about all of the opening day events and activities, visit cardinalnations.com or y98.com. And of course, Bush Stadium and Ballpark Village continue to be a downtown destination. And while the baseball is undeniably great, that's not the only thing to see. They have a lot of exciting things going on down there. And STL TV's Todd Blackstock had a chance to catch up with Cardinals President Bill DeWitt to find out what we can look forward to. You know, it's amazing to look at some of the construction going on right outside of Ballpark Village. You know, like, as we speak, the green space with the videos not there and the stage and things. But there's a, a lot of retail and housing going up right here. And it's all really going to tie in together and, and be really beautiful once it's done. Yes, uh, the Bush 2 infield, which people are familiar with, was part of the Phase 1. That had to get removed just for construction. We're going to put it back. And actually, um, it gets framed with even a cooler space than it was before. And then, uh, you know, just all kinds of things coming soon. We've got the uh, office tower coming later this summer. Uh, the health club comes in after that. Then the hotel as the calendar turns next year. Then the apartment tower after that. And then all this new retail. So we're really excited about the way that this project phases in. And there'll be something new to see every time somebody comes downtown over the next year. You know, we spoke with Matt Gifford earlier about some of the replacements on the field and the, the padding on the walls and things. I mean, everything was fantastic before. The lights were great. But now the Cardinals seem to always stay on top of things and are very proactive because the stadium is, what, now 13 years old, somewhere around there. But it still has a brand new feel, and I think a lot of it has to do with the Cardinals being proactive on maintaining it. Well, one of the things that I've told our group is that um, – Unlike a couple of situations where new ballparks are being, are being built just 20 years after their stadium is, is complete, um, we have no intent of going anywhere. You know, we're still investing in this site and more to come. I mean, there might be a phase three. So um, we need to do everything in Bush Stadium to make sure it's there for the long haul. I hope people are talking about it 100 years from now like they do Wrigley and Fenway now. You can always keep up with the latest and the Redbirds and what's happening at Ballpark Village and the St. Louis Cardinals.com at STLBallparkVillage.com. Hey, you know what? I told you I had a special guest and he's here. It's Jeff Lottman. Hey, how are hey, you? Hey, Stacy. So uh, spring's a popular time to put your house on the market. Of course, everybody's like, spring clean it. Forget that. I want to just dump this old joint. So tell me what they can expect if they want to do that. Well, you know what? You said it best. Spring <laughs> cleaning is exactly what you need to do. And curb appeal, curb appeal, curb appeal. Nice. Most people do not. They actually forget about the outside of their home. And sometimes that's the most important. That's oh. the focal point. That's the first thing people see. So I think it's important is to freshen everything up. Mm. I think also the front door, most people don't even use the front door unless we pick up packages, <laughs> right? Right. So it's like, but when you're showing a house, that's the first thing that people see. So I would encourage people to paint. I would encourage people to actually do something classy and elegant in the front door. So nice. that's really makes 
the first impression brand. Are there certain colors that, that fare well or fare better with uh, prospective buyers? Like I see a lot of red doors or black doors, or does it matter? No, I don't think so. I think the key is open, bright, and light. And okay. I think the grayish tones are really good for the interior. But I think you can be bold with the front door. Nice. And there's a lot of different materials that you can use. Mm -hmm. And people really don't think about that. But you definitely want to paint. You want to clean. You want to uh, just make sure that that's really, really inviting for yeah. today's market. You want to mulch and plant flowers and do all of this extra stuff. And, you know, maybe hire a landscaping company if you don't want to do, the, do it yourself, right? That's what I do. Okay. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot cheaper. They know exactly what they're doing. Exactly. So. And they'll tell you your shrubs are out of date. No, so we'll replant some other that's things right. and really give you a curve appeal so it sounds, it sounds nice. So other tips for the home, like for sellers and, and other things, what, what do you think they should Well, do? I think uh, certainly in the luxury market, I think you need to stage the home. Okay. I think that's very important. Important. Obviously, what it does is it gives uh, the personality, gives some character, but it also gives the vision for the buyers when they come in. They can see how their furniture would fit in the home and how they can uh, actually utilize the space. Mm -hmm. And those stagers do a fantastic job. They really do. I've been into some 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 staged homes, and I'm just like, wow, I want to move in right now. But it's like it doesn't come like this. You have to actually put your own artwork and your couch in there. You know what's crazy? Sometimes people will act actually ask these <laughs> stagers, "Can I buy the furniture because it looks so good?" Yeah. But you're right. Yeah, but you're sometimes right. they do. So, any other tips you think that you want to share with buyers and sellers? Well, I think one of the big trends right now is gone are the big box mech man. And mm -hmm. I think people are really right sizing. So yeah. they're they're taking a lot of consideration into their floor plan, putting a lot of time and energy in their floor plan. Mm -hmm. And gone are the days of those big, big box. So I think several of the things they look beyond that is they're looking at indoor air quality, solar. Mm. They're looking at all the smart house is really the rage right now. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of the tech technology is becoming more and more popular. And I think that's important as you update your home and when you go to sell it, you need to, you need to consider those things as well. So it might not be the huge house that you're looking for. McMansions are out and unique is what is trending. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're about to put your house on the market. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you, Stacey. And you make sure you continue to check us out on FB, that's Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and drop us a line here at The Daily Mix and at stltv.net. You know what? I also want to share with you, I've got good news. I've got things going on. You know what? I'm starting my podcast this Friday, and you can check out the Static Podcast. It will be on all platforms wherever podcasts are found, and I'll be streaming live on Facebook every day at the Static Podcast on Facebook, so make sure you do that. And that's it for the Daily Mix, but keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis.